So next up, we will move straight to our register page TypeScript file. And now we're going to be writing our registration logic. So let's go to register page.html. And where is our button for register? Right here. And we are going to change this icon. So let's just say ion icons. I'm going to change the icon. And we have the premium pack. Click here and just search for regis register. Oh, there's nothing like that. So search for user. All right. So we are going to use this more like say we are adding a user. So person dash add. So the name is going to be person dash add. Now save that. And okay. So now right in our register, the first thing that we are going to do, first of all, is to upload an image or basically to access our Cordova plugins. And you know, if the user wants to take a picture with his camera, we're going to use the camera. And if he wants to upload an image from his gallery, we are going to do that. So now what we are going to do now is get back to our register page that's yes. And right here, this is the first one, load file chooser and load camera, where we're going to be performing the actions. So we're going to go up and import two things. And the first we're going to import would be the camera. And then the second would be the file chooser. So we're going to import that from Ionic Native Camera NGX, Ionic Native Camera slash MNGX. And this is going to be camera. I'm also going to need the camera options. Camera options. Our second import is also going to be from Ionic Native. Oh, sorry, not a file chooser, not camera. NGX. And we are going to also get the file chooser. And what we want to do now is inject this in our constructor. So we're going to inject this in our constructor. Okay, so we have public, public camera will now be of type camera. And the last one we are going to inject is a file chooser, which will now be of type file chooser. So right, so with that being done, we're going to start up with our camera and we want to write a function here and call this function camera options. So basically this camera is going to set, this is going to set the options for the camera. And for that, we're going to have a variable here, say let's, we're going to call it options. And it's going to be of type the camera options. And we're going to pass a couple of parameters. So first the quality, we want the quality to be set to full. We want our source type. Our source type would be picture source type. So camera that picture source type and that camera. Next up, save the photo album. We actually don't want to save this photo, to photo album. So we just set this to false. Okay. And the next up is we want the correct orientation, of course. So we are going to set this to true. And after on um, Mm, okay, no, here's what we're going to do. For source type, I'm going to come here and just pass source type. Yes, and I'm going to pass here source type. And I have my reasons for passing source type here. So current orientation will be set to true. Allow edit. We don't want the user to edit this image. So false. And the destination type, which is extremely important to us, we can either pass it as a url or as a uri so and um, basically that data url is exactly what we need which is a base 64 encoded string so we're going to say this dot camera dot destination type dot data url you can see we have file url which is um, like this content part blah 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 native url returns native url but we don't need any of that we need data url and the media type also should just be we don't need just pictures. So this is the camera dot media type dot picture, not all media, just picture. And the encoding type, we want just JPEG. 
dot encoding type. So basically, it's going to encode the image to JPEG. And um, we want to set our target height and our target width. Both set to 500, target height 500, target width 500. Okay, so our camera options have been set. So we can save that now, knowing that our camera options have been set. And what we can do here is very simple, is to say, we want to now, first of all, take a picture with the user's camera. So basically what, what I mean by that is, let's get back to our application. Uh, it's saying failed to compile, have the model that is, was not found in Ionic Native V64. Okay, um, let's go back to app.module.ts and um, we eventually we don't need to use this. Let's just get rid of this. Um, the reason why we don't need to use this is I know at the beginning, I know I actually said we should import it and I thought it was going to be needful, but I found out that really we don't need to use this because and um, what I actually wanted to use this to do was to convert the images from the gallery to be 64. But the Cordova camera plugin does that perfectly for us. So we just remove that from our application and remove this so that we stop having. So now save that and get back into our browser. And yep, it works fine. So back to what I was trying to explain to you here. What I was trying to say is um, once the user clicks on upload image, we want this. There's a camera action and then there's the image action. So we're going to start up with the camera action, which is going to bring up the user's camera. Um, so we are going to go back to register page.ts and in the load camera, all right, in the load camera, we are going to say this dot camera dot get picture and this is going to pass a parameter and we're going to pass this dot options. Uh, what do we call that function? Was it camera options? We called it camera, yeah, camera options. And for this, we want to return options. Okay, and this camera options actually takes a parameter. So what we're going to do is, let's just declare a variable here, say camera options, and this would be called this dot camera options. And it takes a parameter, which is the source type. And our source type is, um, for this particular one, which is the camera, our source type is not going to be from the photo library. Our source type is going to be from the camera. All right, so this is going to be this dot camera the picture source type dot is going to come from the camera basically it's going to be the camera so this is a camera that get picture we want to pass the camera options which we declared here and this is going to return a promise so that then and want this to be on a sync and want to pass the image data which is rb64 encoded string we are now going to just basically say console.log image data and we're not going to see this right now because this particular functionality will require a real device and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just write after i'm uh, um, i'm going to write for the file chooser too and in the next video i'm going to get my android device connected so that we can actually test this thing to see how and of course we're going to do chrome debugging so here too we're going to do the same action to say this dot camera that gets picture and we are going to say this dot camera dot picture source type dot photo library. Any other thing? No, dot photo library then dot then. And we want an async of, um, um, let's call this image data. Sorry. And this is going to be an arrow function. And we are just going to log this to the console, image data. And we have an error here, why? Type number has no property in common with type camera options. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, I'm making a mistake here. Oh, sorry. What we are supposed to do is say, let camera options be equal to um, this dot camera options. And we can just pass this right here and console.log image data. 
right? Yep. So where else are we getting the error from? Uh, yes. Okay. Now let's save that. And um, in our camera, we need to pass camera options. Save that again. And now let's just get over to our browser. And everything works just perfectly fine. So in the next video, we're going to be getting our real device connected. And we're going to be debugging from our device or probably from an emulator.